All right, have some new products to show you guys that we're bringing out for uh, 2017. Been in development for quite a while. I wanted to make sure we had it right before we did it, uh, before we brought it out. But at any rate, what I want to do is just kind of cover the whole product line of our, uh, you know, for caring for your suppressors, the different items that we have here. Uh, our suppressor is basically a two or a three part system, maybe a four part system, however you want to call it. But normally, with our uh, our main inner core right here is what we use to uh, cover the suppressors with. It's glass, and what this is good for 3,000 degrees um, all the time, intermittent up to 3,500, and this is the the backbone of the system itself. Now, whenever we're using that for bolt guns, uh, ones that aren't going to create a whole lot of heat. We have, we call this the MAD, which is basically the Mirage abatement device. And you can tell what we've done is we just take this, we wrap it in cordura to make it pretty so it's not ugly. Then whenever we're going to tighten it up, we'll use this 550 cord to do it. Now this works absolutely fine for bolt guns, you know, not a sustained rate of fire, just a few rounds and then move on and another few rounds. Um, and so that's the MAD, this is the real basic part of it. The next one that we came out with is our HAD, our heat abatement device. Now the heat abatement device, what it uses is it uses the inner core in addition to the HAD material here. Now this material that was sewn into the Cordura gives you an extra layer of it. We've gone full auto with these, you know, up to, um, you know, four mags. Uh, eventually, you know, the heat's got to go somewhere, so you don't want to do any stupid stuff like that. But we just wanted to see how far they would go. Um, what, this ha what happens with this, the outer material wraps around it, suppressor goes on, goes on the gun. Now the material that we're using here is a high heat rope. Now this high heat rope has a significantly higher heat tolerance than 550, which is why you can go full auto or you know, 556 you know, sustain rate of fire, you know, going pretty, uh, pretty fast with it. It gets hot, but it's not necessarily going to um, cause a suppressor failure. Now, one of the things that we wanted to do, you can tell whenever you look at this suppressor here, this suppressor is set up with the hat on it. So, this is the Thunder Beast. You can tell that it's got the inner core, then the outer material, then the Cordura. So what you end up with is you end up with the cover that's, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of thick. Um, it's not really a big deal, but what we wanted was something that we could kind of go with uh, 22s, different things like that. So. What we did is we came up with the skinny. Now, you'll notice that the difference, this is the cover for a had. So the Cordura is folded around and then you have the had material right there. With the skinny, what we did is we did it the other way. We brought this material over here so none of the Cordura is actually in contact with the suppressor itself. And we did these initially, like I said, so it would be a, a smaller profile. You can tell that it's on, on this can as compared to this can, they're both the same diameter. However, one of the suppressor covers is significantly less large. Now, we thought we'd do it for 22s and everything else, and we had some of the guys, well, let's just see what happens. So we put them on the bigger bolt guns, and we've been running these for several months. Uh, several different guys have been doing it just to kind of find out if it's gonna work. And this skinny has worked out to be pretty good as well. Again, smaller profile. The Mounting procedure for this is pretty much the same as it is with the mat of the hat. When your suppressor goes on, you want to make sure that you come up. It's going to lock against the shoulder. And the features of these, what I like to do is I like to leave a little bit of room here and here because the heat has to go somewhere. So you get this little bit of heat coming here, a little bit of heat coming here, but you're not getting heat over this entire area. You're only getting maybe, maybe three eighths of an inch if you're trying to be real generous to where the heat's gonna escape. Now, a lot of times what people will do is they'll put a shoulder back here so that the rifle, rifle's recoil won't cause the suppressor to just slide off. We didn't go with the shoulder. What we're doing is we're wrapping this high heat rope. It would go in and you can see how it's sewn in all the way through to make it tight. Then we make one wrap around the barrel, go through with this little locking nut here, pull it up tight, and close it. What that does is it keeps the suppressor cover from sliding forward, but still allows some area for the heat to escape. So again, three different systems here. The MAD, bolt guns, had for, uh, for full auto work, 
or you know sustained rates of fire maybe not full auto but just shooting a lot of rounds and then the skinny and the skinny is again we've we've done some some work with them you know with higher rates of fire and they're holding up very very well could be the option that you want um, moving on suppressor pouches we huge interest in suppressor pouches suppressor pouches that we've seen out there are basically made out of cordura the cordura if you put a hot suppressor in it you you're going to end up melting your stuff so what we did is we took the had material same material that we have on the on the skinny as well as the had and this pouch is lined with it and it's lined in the bottom it's lined across the top so you can put your suppressor in this one here is designed for the suppressor to go in put the suppressor cover on it goes in you can throw that sucker in your bag or whatever you don't have to worry about it burning any other contents that you may have in your vehicle or in your shooting bag or anything else if it turns out that you're gonna you want to just put this on this way you can put it on that way unscrew your suppressor wrap it up you never have to touch the hot ends or anything like that now what we have is different lengths for different size suppressors we also have a pouch here it's not on the table here but we also have a pouch that has the had material but it's not as big either so in case you want to put it looks like this here it is we did have one so just the suppressor goes in without any outer cover so if the suppressor is sitting there and you just want to put it over this way unscrew your suppressor close it up throw it in your bag you're still not going to burn any of your kit so again just going through the different different products that we have coming out the the had and the mad we've had already the skinny suppressor cover like this one as well as the high heat suppressor pouches those are new for 2017 you can go to riflesonly.com for pricing and sizing and different things like that as always if you have any questions send us an email jacob at riflesonly.com thank you one more thing to add SHOT Show next week. Come by and see us. Rifles Only booth 20536. We will have some discount cards as for uh, SHOT Show discounts. So you'll be able to take that card with your code. Any product that we have that's a Rifles Only product, good for a couple of weeks after SHOT Show, 25% off. Hope to see you there.